Hello everyone, today I've got some really exciting news because I've got a new course launching today. It's a gouache extended course where I put everything that I know about gouache into it, everything that you need to know, mixing, blending, getting the right consistency, layering without reactivating the previous layer. We are going to talk about all of those things in detail in that course. And I will also give you some tutorials so you can learn some specific paintings as well that you can show to everyone how well you are doing with gouache now. Be quick to check it out because you will have an early bird offer if you are quick with joining and the doors will close. I will announce when the doors will close probably in a month so you have to really join now. Now for this video today I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview about what gouache actually is is because a lot of people still don't know what it is. So for a while now I've been really focusing on gouache on my YouTube channel and with everything I do I've painted a lot of it and people keep on asking me what is gouache? They've never heard of it before and this is what this video is for. I'm gonna paint a little bunny here and talk a little bit about what gouache is and why it is so amazing essentially and why I use it. So first of all, gouache is a type of paint. It is an opaque paint that's similar to watercolor and similar to acrylic paint in some ways, but it is its own medium. It's not a different version of a watercolor. It's something on its own. It's its own paint medium. And you can get a lot of really cool effects with it. And gouache has a specific look that you can mostly just get with gouache. And uh, the reasons why I mostly love it is because it is opaque. So you can layer it. You can go from dark to light and not just from light to dark as with watercolors. But um, in contrast to acrylic paint, gouache is water soluble, at least water soluble gouache. So the traditional gouache you can still use and pick up from your palette even after it's dry. You can blend your paint even after it's dry. So it comes with a lot of benefits that acrylic paint doesn't give me. There's also acrylic gouache that's often overlooked and it's super confusing to people what it actually is. And acrylic gouache really is a mixture of water soluble gouache and acrylic paint so it is waterproof but it looks very similar to water soluble gouache and if that is confusing to you then check out my new course where I really go into depth about all of those things. I really compare water soluble gouache and acrylic gouache in detail. I tell you what it is, what are the benefits of both of these, why would you pick the the one or the other one and really go into detail with all of this. So for now, just know that there's different kinds of gouache and the overall look that you can get with gouache is a very soft one and you kind of lose a lot of contrast with it because the darker colors dry lighter and the lighter colors dry darker. So essentially, in the end, your piece is gonna look a little bit more flat. So why would I want that? Why is that a benefit? I personally think that it gives you a very soft look and I really like that. It's just a matter of taste personally. If you like your pieces to look a little bit more dreamy and soft and painterly then this can be a magical paint for you. I really love the way that the finished pieces look and once you get the hang of gouache it's actually pretty easy to work with. I know that a lot of beginners struggle with it and I can completely understand. I used to struggle with it too. I didn't know what it was. We used it in college once actually and I hated it. I really didn't like it because we used very bad quality gouache and we really didn't learn how to use it properly. 
And so I didn't have a good time with that. This is my mission kind of here now to teach you all how to use it so you can really get the benefits of it and enjoy the process more. Because if you know what you're doing, then everything will change and it will be really fun. And I'm so glad that gouache is getting more popularity lately because it has so many benefits and I've really enjoyed and loved using it. And you can check out all of my tutorials that I've done with gouache. You can see my progress. I started out and I didn't really know what I was doing. But at this point now, I've done so many gouache videos, gouache paintings. I've used it so much. It's become one of my very favorite mediums. And I just love helping you all learn how to do this. So this is why I have a new course now, the gouache extended course course you can see that I've already done gouache tutorials and courses in the past so why would you invest in this course now if you have all of these resources already the reason why I made this course is because it covers everything it covers all of the things that people struggle with blending consistency layering all of the techniques, mixing colors, why do my colors look dull or how do I make them desaturated depending on what look you're going for. How do I really go about mixing a shade of green that looks more natural, things like that. How do I know how much water and how much uh, paint I need, how do I figure out the right ratio. All of these things are covered in the course, which is why I am making it a big point to mention it here. Because if you want to really learn how to confidently paint with gouache, then this is going to be the course for you. I've checked out so many other courses of people who teach gouache and it's mostly missing all of the techniques, which is why I wanted to go into depth. And I want you to leave the course feeling confident with the pieces from the tutorials that you can show off. You can tell people, hey, I made this. And so this is really all of the things we're going to cover so much. I made it a point to really include everything that you need to know so if you're struggling with gouache and you have a problem with layering it it keeps on reactivating the previous layer even if you don't want that things like that then really go ahead and join us with the course because you are gonna get the hang of all of those things in there so why gouache? Why did I not just stick with watercolors? And if, because people know watercolors already and I love watercolors. The reason why I started to do gouache essentially is because you can get so many techniques with it that you can't get from watercolors. A lot of people actually mix in white gouache for their watercolors to get a little bit of that as well. So they can get kind of the best of both worlds, but it's just not the same and it's really tricky to make that work. I just really love to have the ability to layer my paintings to get all of these looks. I love watching Studio Ghibli movies, for example, and seeing all those pretty landscapes. And in my head, I know how to recreate them. And I just use gouache. I get a very similar look that way. And I really just fell in love with the medium because it is so much fun to work with. And it is so pretty to look at the pieces in the end. And if you want to go ahead and just switch off your brain and go into painting mode, get into the zone and really work without any stress, I feel like gouache is the medium for you because you can, when you use water-soluble gouache, you can wait 
for three hours in between painting or you can get back after three years and you can still blend your paintings. You can still reactivate the colors on your palette. You're not stressed. With acrylic paint, I feel like I'm often stressed. I have to mix, I have to blend, I have to do all of those things before the paint dries. It's always a race against the clock. But with gouache, you can go back. And other than with oil paints, who are also super good for layering, you with gouache, you don't have to use any toxical chemicals. You don't have to think about all of those things. You don't have to get paint thinner. It's just so much easier to work with gouache, which is really why I love using it. And I will continue to do more tutorials about it. And if you have any questions about it and any struggles that you have, feel free to share them in the comments. It doesn't matter if it's something that I've mentioned before or if it's something that you haven't heard me mention, if you have a very unique struggle or something that a lot of people struggle with, let me know. I really want to help you to get to a point where you can make very good looking paintings confidently and with fun and I will try my best if you have any questions that are not in my course yet to also include them. I will grow and expand the course and keep on going with it since it's an online course I can add on things and I will try my best to respond to as many questions as possible and so feel free to really comment down below and let me know all of your thoughts about it. And if you're interested in the course, I really highly recommend you checking it out if you're interested in gouache because we cover everything in there. Then go ahead and check out the link in the description box below. You will find everything for it there. And there's also gonna be somewhat of a live feature. So if you join early, you're gonna have some benefits there. You can get feedback on your paintings and you can even get 50% off if you join in the first two weeks. So if you're watching this right away, then really be quick. It's really worth it. And I really hope that you liked this small introduction into gouache. I also go into what kinds of paints you should get, what you need and introductory sets, what kinds of paper, all of the things are covered in the course. So if you're a complete beginner, then go ahead, go over there. If you've used gouache for a while, but you're still struggling with some of the techniques, this is also the best course for you. So I'm really excited and happy to share this with you. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video and the painting of the little bunny. And I hope I will see you in the course and see you again next time. And for now, I wish you a nice day and goodbye. Mm -hmm.